Hey friends! So I wanted to do a vlog type style for this week. I haven't done one in a minute. I had an original video planned with the three books I showed you guys in my TBR video. So if you're seeing this, I either ended up doing it or I did not and you will know by the title <laughs> because I am currently in a cozy reading mood and so it's possible this is going to turn into a cozy reading vlog instead or it'll be what I originally planned. We'll find out. So I'm going to bring this with me to the car dealership to get my car serviced. I also have my Kindle and I'm on one by one. It's an arc that I've had for NetGalley. I think they're just redoing her stuff. So this book's been out for a minute. It's pretty good so far. It's a little bit creepier than her normal ones, I would say. So I also have another book on there that I may end up doing if I continue doing the other vlog I was going to do. We will see. I will do that at some point. I just don't know if I'm going to do it this month. I just keep trying, but I'm not in the mood for it every time because I'm a mood reader. So <laughs> it makes it really hard to vlog specific books when you're a mood reader. But I'm going to go ahead and head to the color dealership and I will just record throughout the week. I was going to come on here again to say one thing that has made it interesting is I am now experiencing a different wording situation. My husband now works from home. He just got a new job, which has been awesome. I love having him home. But it has made it really hard to find time to record because his new workstation, the office, is where I record. <laughs> so that's why you've been seeing lots of different recording areas. So I have been finding it hard to just get more recording done. So I'm still trying to figure that out. I also think I'm gonna get a stand for my car, for my phone, because I would like to chat in the car. That would make it easy for it to be quieter because obviously I can't sit here and hold this up when I'm driving all the time, but yeah, so I may just do more talks when I'm driving because I would like to do some more vlog type things. And also, spoiler alert, which I said this in my first video ever, but I don't know if any of you have watched that because it was the first one and it was horrible. <laughs> but we're also gonna be doing a homesteading channel. And so, I will be doing those eventually and I will be announcing what channel that is if any of you are interested in gardening and just homesteading lifestyle like sourdough things and compost things and stuff like that because we love gardening and we're very passionate about living off the land and being self-sufficient. We've been making that goal towards that journey for quite a while now and so him being able to get this job and working remote is just a big step towards that goal so we last year just installed a hoop house so anyways I will let you all know when that gets started but anyway that's just a little update
So friends, have you ever done this where you totally think your appointment is at a certain time and show up and realize that you're completely wrong? Because that's what I just did. I showed up at 11.45 and my appointment is not till 1.45. <laughs> so I'm going to thrift shop for a second and go in Goodwill and look at the books and then go home and come back at 1.45. Guys, I scored. I scored at Goodwill. Thing. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna have to hold it up. Okay, I found this. Okay, listen. I know it looks dumb, but my daughter loves joke books, and I'm still on a journey to try to get her to read. She does not love reading. I try really hard, but <laughs> I feel like she does it just to defy me. I don't know, because I love reading. But she does like graphic novels and she loves joke books. So I'm going to try this out. And then I also saw this. This had really great ratings on um, Goodreads. Don't know much about it other than that. It looked like a good premise. So I got this at Goodwill. Um, then I also saw this. This looked super cute. I feel like the um, synopsis sounded good. It is a great pleasure that we are welcoming you to the Smith School for Children's Class of 2019. We are confident you will contribute many amazing things to our school and community. Here at Smith, we take our motto very seriously. non taming and Reddit, not to take, but to give back. We strive each day to make the world a better place for them fellow human beings because this is what matters most. Um, and that was just a letter. I don't think that was like the synopsis, but um, I just thought that sounded really cool. And I just thought that she may like it. Okay, here's the best find of it all. Guys, my daughter loves Dogman. Loves Dogman. Did you see what I showed you in the store? Okay, hold on. This is really hard to hold up. You know these are heavy. Look at this. I scored one of them that you saw in the video. She already has, but oh my gosh, she's going to be so excited. She loves Dogman. I am so excited that was such a steal at goodwill for 2 dollars each she is gonna be over the moon and then i found this cozy mystery for me i don't know much about it doesn't have the greatest ratings on goodreads it's kind of average but i'm gonna try it anyways because we all know i'm just trying all out the cozies so that was my goodwill find tell me your mom without telling me your mom She loves Blippi. Okay, so I thought I would do a little update. I just gave her some food, so she should be occupied for a second before the rest of my kids get back from school. My husband went to get them since he had to make a trip to Lowe's. So I made it to chapter three in A Dark and Stormy Murder. I am enjoying it so far. I am pleasantly surprised because honestly, I I was optimistic about trying out cozies, but I'm not gonna lie. I had a feeling that I probably was just not gonna like them because like people label them the granny books. So I was thinking to myself, this is probably not gonna be any good. But you know what? I... First of all, let's put you guys down so I don't have to keep shaking you around and holding you. This is like, 
That's horrible. This is like jank recording style. Okay. <laughs> and I think you're a little bit crooked. It's fine, okay? Um, I thought... I thought the same thing about rom-coms, honestly. Before I read them, I was like looking at those covers of like the cartoon characters. Like for instance, this is a prime example. Okay, I looked at these and I was like, this looks dumb. Why do people read these? Like before I read them. And now I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I eat them up. They're one of my favorite genres depending on the rom-com author. Which, by the way, if anybody knows, why do they not have faces? Why? I don't understand. Anyway, now I love them. Does she do that on all? Yeah, all her books. Why don't they have faces? <laughs> so, I was like, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised if you hear people outside. I'm sorry, they're doing some kind of lawn care tree stuff <laughs> anyway i got to chapter three i think this is a motorcycle okay moving on <laughs> that is a loud motorcycle or a car i'm really enjoying this actually um it's just cute and cozy and like, I don't know how to describe it. Like it doesn't require a lot of thought. So it's kind of just relaxing and therapeutic. And so obviously I'm not that far into it. I thought I was gonna get all this time at the car mechanic and it, it ended up being way quicker than I thought it would be of course, because normally the mechanic is long, but because I was excited about reading, it didn't take long at all. <laughs> and lately it's been hard to find time I have a two-year-old and two older kids as well, and so my two-year-old is just all out like, oh my gosh, like what are they doing? <laughs> my two-year-old is just all out like active right now, and so I mean, I just can't really read much like I used to be able to when she was kind of not as hyper and mobile and her naps lasted longer then and everything. So now I pretty much just read at nighttime when my kids are in bed, which is fine. Obviously that's my job. I'm a stay at home mom, but anyway, well, I shouldn't say job. That is a blessing that I get to stay home and watch her. But that means that finding time to read is very limited. So it's just not, like, I'm just not getting through books as quickly as I used to. So I probably won't meet all the books I want to read by the end of the month. But it's fine. I probably should stop making such an enormous TBR list. I just, you know, do you ever get that feeling where you just see all these books you really, really want to read and you just wish that you could read them all at once because you feel like you're never going to get to all of them? That's how I feel like I'll be in the middle of a book and then I'll be like, oh my goodness, I want to read this right now. Like I've been really wanting to read Magnolia Parks. I've been really wanting to read The Gracier and Frozen River and Shatter Me series and the rule book. And, and then I'll see someone talking about Just for the Summer and I'm like, oh, I want to read that right now. And but I'm like in the middle of this. It's like I have book ADD and I feel like I want to read them all at once but that's just not realistic. And then what I find myself doing is not being in the moment with a book and rushing them along. And I don't want to do that. I want to enjoy a book, take my time and, and not rush through it like I used to. And I think now because I'm being more exposed to all the books doing booktube, I'm finding myself having a hard time just staying in a book and being slow with it and enjoying it because I keep getting distracted by all <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, 
well, it just dropped, you guys. Oh my gosh. I had you upside down. Okay. Way to ruin a moment. So anyways, I find myself being distracted by what everybody else is reading and really wanting to get to other things that are new. And, and so I need to just be better about being in the moment is what I need to do. And just enjoying a book. And that is the best way I can describe reading so far, reading a cozy. Obviously, I don't have much experience. I've read three chapters in this. And I know you guys aren't going to say this is cozy mystery. It's not. It's cozy fantasy, but I still get the same feels with it, okay? And I'm counting it in my own mind. I'm on, well, there isn't even chapter numbers on this, but I'm on page 90 of this. And that's the feel I get with these, is like, you're just in the moment, relaxing, and it's like peaceful. The best way I can describe them, it's like a peaceful book. And it kind of helps you slow down and just let it simmer and just sit with the book and be in the moment. Whereas like a fast paced, you know, thriller is like, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And you're like, you know, you want to read it fast, which there's, that's a great feeling. And fantasy can be that way too. But there's something to be said about a slow paced peaceful, cozy vibe, therapeutic story. There's just something to be said about it. So those are my thoughts, way too many thoughts and horrible camera angle, which by the way, I'm so sorry. The past several videos I've done, the lighting has been horrible and I've looked like white as a sheet I don't know what is going on with my lighting. I need to get it figured out though. So I record with my phone. I don't have a fancy camera yet. That will be coming much, much later in my journey. <laughs> so just bear with me. Anyways, I'll update you guys later. Okay, just a little update. Got this in the mail. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the back of this, but I saw this on Jordan's channel and everybody's talking about it. Not just Jordan, I saw it somewhere else. Who was it? I think I also saw it on Lives and I can't remember the other person, but I've seen it everywhere. Then I saw Yvette talking about Juniper Bean. She seems to really like this one. So I want to give it a try. And that's it. So tonight I'm going to do a sprint run. I'm trying to decide if I want to read more of Encyclopedia of Fairies. Or my cozy, I haven't decided quite yet, but I will give you guys a little bit of that whenever that starts. I'm on page 56 and I am liking this so far. Sprinting with Liv's Patreon, but I really didn't think I would like cozies and I am enjoying this. I'm very surprised.
Okay, I just want to do a little update. I am on chapter 11, so I'm about halfway. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm liking the characters a lot. I'm liking the slow pace of it a lot. Um, I really thought it was funny when she threw the nuts at the cops the last chapter. That made me laugh. I just thought that was so, so random and funny, but I don't have any guesses as to who did it still. I'm not really trying to figure it out. I'm just kind of going with it and enjoying it. So, um, so far I really like it. And I just like, I don't know, this taking my time and not really, um, trying to figure out anything. And, um, the little town that it takes place in and stuff. So that's my update.
Next, I want to show you our little setup for um, growing seeds indoors. It's this huge shelf that we have in our basement, the unfinished part of our basement, because it, it gets way too hot upstairs with these lights and heating mats. But this is what my husband has growing right now. All the peppers, because they take a long time to grow. So he's got uh, a timer set up and everything um, and lots of hot peppers. That's his thing. And then he's got some bell peppers going on. So peppers take a really long time to grow, especially hot peppers. So you have to start them inside well, well before it's time to plant. It may be a little loud because he's tilling right now, but this is our hoop house. We went to gardening, so you guys are kind of going to be coming along with our learning. Um, these are cow panels that we have installed for vining plants, like uh, green beans. Okay, and up here, we won't keep this here when we get the pole up and going, this will be in the way, but we've got a tower garden and we have strawberries in here. And this is really nice for if you don't have a lot of space at your house to plant things in, like if you live in an apartment, these are really great. I don't even have all the layers on it yet because I just didn't have that many strawberries to plant. But you can, you can get a turning table and spin them and then you just replace water in the top and there's holes where it'll just go down through all the plants. This is our next bed that we made uh, because some plants just don't really like to be super hot in the greenhouse now. Our greenhouse does open the windows right there so that does air it out so you can grow pretty much anything in it but there are just some plants that cannot go in there because as you can see the tarp keeps them kind of cramped and so stuff like broccoli and things for one don't want to be really hot but for two they need just more space or like potatoes you have to dig really deep so we put things like potatoes in here my husband is growing hops and he wants to put that in here and then we'll probably put our broccoli and our sprouting seeds this is our compost pile that we have going for those who don't know which i'm sure a lot of you do food scraps grass clippings sticks uh, leaves just throw it all in, stir it constantly, create your own really amazing compost that's really good for your soil. Ours is still really small. It's taken us quite some time to figure out a good method. We had it in some panels, but they just weren't getting stirred up very well that way. So we decided to take it out. This is an informal video of my husband building random things because this is for my channel. So what are you building? Building a hop trellis. I've got 16 foot 4x4s. Four I'm going to put them up maybe 3 feet into the ground. And I'm going to wedge 16 foot 2x4 this way. And I'm going to hang my strings or cables or whatever and hang them off that 2x4. These are hardwood cuttings that I purchased. And these are softwood cuttings that I did myself blueberries that we're going to be transplanting. I forgot to show you guys my little herb garden. It's a work in progress. I redid it last year, but this plant continues to kind of get in the way. But this is lavender that I purchased already in a pot off Etsy. So it's done pretty good. This is rosemary and it grew like crazy so we've got to harvest some of that and then um, over here we've got oregano it's a lily I think and then right here is the uh, peony that I bought off Etsy to transplant okay so we mix dirt with nutrients and core to give it that light and fluffy because it drains better 
So I'm going to go ahead and print this in these. Give them a little bit of a head start before I put them in the garden just so like, hopefully they don't get eaten so quickly by animals. Okay, so in the back they're always going to tell you like how deep to do it and the spacing and all of that. So right now it's still a little bit cold in our areas and we can plant broccoli still according to our firmest almanac. Um, so I'll just show you one seed because it was really hard to do it while holding my phone. I usually just poke a hole, not very big, and then cover. I don't really measure it. And then what I'll do after is I water, I bottom water because it doesn't disturb the dirt and the seeds and misplace it and stuff. I prefer it that way and also you have less um, growth and fungus and stuff if you bottom water.
It's a little windy, so you may not hear me good, but just a little update. I'm on chapter 13, so I have about 70 pages, 75 pages left, and I'm convinced that everybody in this book did it. They all did it. They all are suspicious. <laughs> I, I literally have changed my mind like so many times. Hey friends, I just want to do a quick update. So I just got back from church a couple hours ago. It's Sunday and I just was reading outside in the hammock as I just showed you all. I didn't update you out there because it's so windy. I don't think that you could have heard me, but I wanted to let you know that I did finish One by One by Frieda McFadden. I gave it three stars. It was, it was like a scary old timey, movie it was super cheesy but it was so cheesy that it was like funny to me and entertaining and I just wanted to keep reading and so I binged it so overall it was a pretty easy book to get through and I had it off a net galley so it was a nice arc to get done but it was definitely not a favorite so anyway I am almost done with a dark and stormy murder I'm about to watch Keisha's delight vlog that goes live here at three and my daughter just woke up from her nap, so I am going to take a break from reading for a little bit.